right, guys, we are here at Serendipity 3 in New York City, home to the world's most expensive French fry, $200. I'm a little nervous. We're about to try them. Let's go. All right, so we have the world's most expensive French fry. Tell us about this process, the ingredients. What do we got to work with here? Well, we're going to start off with some really amazing ingredients. The heart of the show is going to be using our chipper baked potatoes. From there, we're going to create a three-step cooking process where we will blanch our potatoes in a uh, 2006 Dom Perignon and a French champagne vinegar. We will pull that out, cool it down. Once it has developed a pellicle, in other words, a skin on the exterior, it's going to be then ready to do our first fry method, in which case we are cooking our, our fries in a goose fat. First fry will be at 325 degrees. Uh, and from there, we will take it out and then we'll freeze it. From frozen, we will then cook it at our final temperature at 375 degrees. We will then finish the fries with truffle oil, truffle salt. Separately, we will then make our Mornay sauce, which we'll be using some of our organic flour, truffle butter. From there, we'll use some really amazing A2 heavy cream. And from there, we'll add a truffle raclette to complete the cheese sauce. Season it with a little more truffle salt, and we'll finish the dish off with shaving of truffle pecorino, fresh truffles, and some uh, more truffle oil. Go the world's most expensive fry. Truffle in there. Truffle, cheesy. This is a good fry. You guys have around 50 orders so far. There's an eight to ten week wait list. What has the reaction been from customers? Uh, well, we get a lot of reactions. People think it's outrageous, um, but a lot of people really want to try them. They're intrigued. Uh, and, and they know from our past that our world records uh, in food are not just expensive ingredients thrown together. It's carefully thought out um, menu items that are really not only the most expensive, but the best in the world. You know, talk to me about some of the challenges here. Like there's been supply chain headwinds that have hit a lot of different industries. Chef Freddie was saying it's been difficult to get some of the ingredients for this dish. So what have you guys been seeing in, in, at Serendipity 3 in the restaurant industry at large? Uh, well, the supply issue has been uh, a, a real issue for us and for many people. And it's, it's small things like uh, the, the bottled water, they can't get the caps for it. Uh, um, they can't get the, you know, to make frozen hot chocolate mix. Uh, they can't get the cardboard to make the canister. So there, there's a lot of, uh, you know, there's a lot of kinks in the supply chain that are really causing uh, a lot of problems for, uh, for restaurants in New York City and really around the country. And you guys were shut down for 18 months amid the pandemic. How are things today? Are you back to those pre-pandemic levels? Um, we're almost there, but you know, we took advantage of being closed to renovate the restaurant, to put in a new kitchen, uh, and to really revitalize Serendipity. So when we open again, uh, we, we really, really can say we're back and be bigger and better than ever. Yeah, clearly you came back with these fries. So I think, Absolutely. you know, the bar was already set high. You have these fries. You have the Selena Gomez sundae, which we talked about and taste tested, which was delicious. And then the new frozen hot chocolate for the restaurant's 67th birthday. How do those products convince people to come back to the restaurant? And, and how has that led to greater demand? Um, well, you know, anytime you create something new, people want new. So we created these new items to really entice people to come back and it's working because people are really responding to what we're putting out there. And last question for me, you know, you have these fries, Guinness Book of World Record. What's next? What's the next world record? Ooh, ooh. We're, we're, still, we're still coming off the high of, mm -hmm. of the French fries. I don't know, uh, we may do something um, with ice cream next. Okay. That's all I'm saying.